Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today I wanna to show you exactly how I created the decal for the project that we did last Saturday. If you caught my tutorial last weekend, we made this really cute little hot cocoa mug. I will link that video down below in the description box. And in that video, I asked you guys if you wanted a more updated printable vinyl tutorial. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm gonna to have all the products and images that you see in this video listed and linked down below in the description box. So that's enough chit chat for me. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to want to upload our image to Cricut Design Space. This tutorial is going to be aimed towards Cricut users um, because I don't use a silhouette and I don't know how to do this in silhouette, all right? So here we go. We're going to first upload our image. My image today is from Sweet Baby Blue Designs and the reason why I wanted to show you guys specifically how I use this image is because we created an offset around this image in order for it to all cut in one and to print on the printable vinyl. If we didn't create an offset around this image, when we did the printing cut, it would try to cut out all those individual letters. So I'm gonna show you guys how to avoid that today. So this image gets on your canvas first, it's really big. We're gonna resize it to around the size that we want. I think I sized mine to about four inches for my mug. So here we have this resize to the four inches. And what we're gonna do first is create the offset. So while my image is selected, I'm going to click on offset. We gotta wait a little bit for it to think about what it wants to do. All right, and so now you'll see like this light blue outline around our image and we can like make that bigger or smaller using this little slider tool, the line and the dot here. We just move the dot down a bit to make our outline smaller or bigger. I recommend making it like a little bit bigger so that most of those little holes in between the letters of our image are filled in. All right, so now that we have that, we're just going to click apply. And once we click apply, we're gonna move our original image out of the way. And here we have our offset or outlined version of our image here. I'm gonna change that to white because I want a white background for my image. So then when we move this back over the outline, we're going to then center it by selecting both, clicking align, and clicking center. That's gonna make sure that our image is right in the middle of that offset. Okay, then I'm gonna select both, and then we're going to click flatten. What that's going to do is it's going to flatten the hot cocoa image against the offset shape that we created so that it'll be printed all in one and then cut just the outline, not all the little things in between, okay? So once we do that, you'll see on the next screen for our printing cut, that that image is going to, let's give it a little bit to show up, but it's going to show up here all in one, okay? And you won't see the cut line, but I promise you it's there, okay? So then we're going to click continue. And then we're going to click send to printer. So I'm gonna first make sure I have the right printer selected and I'm also going to use system dialog. It doesn't matter if the add bleed function is selected for this because the image that we're printing and cutting is white for the outline. If you didn't have an image that required us to have like an outline around it for the words to be printed like this one here, 
and you want to really cut right up against the actual image itself, then I would recommend having add bleed selected. All right, so we have system dialog on and we're gonna click print. The reason that we've selected system dialog is we wanna optimize our print settings. So in this window, we're gonna go to preferences, then I'm going to select photo printing. For photo papers, I'm gonna select the matte photo paper option because most of the printable vinyls that we would use for our tumblers will be matte. Then I'm going to select the paper size, which in this case is just a standard letter size, and the print quality we'll select is high. Then we're going to click OK, then print, and send that off to our printer. All right, so when we go to print, I have my printable vinyl in there face down in our paper tray. Okay, and then it's going to print out of our printer before we put it in the Cricut. The Cricut isn't printing it, the printer is gonna print it, and then we'll cut it with our Cricut. All right, so here is our printed image on our printable vinyl, and we're just gonna put this on our cutting mat here, lining it up with the grid. You wanna make sure that this is perfectly lined up. And you'll notice that this printable vinyl is matte. So for optimal print and cut performance, you want to make sure that you are printing on a matte material. Shiny sticky sticker paper will work, but you're going to have a harder time with these registration lines being red. If you have to print on shiny sticker paper, you could still do that. I would just recommend taking some matte scotch tape and placing that scotch tape over your black registration lines to make them not so shiny. All right, so I have this loaded into my machine and I've selected the adhesive backed cardstock cutting option. If you have a Explore Air 2, you can just select the regular cardstock setting. You could probably do the regular cardstock setting on this one too, but that cardstock setting only applies to the StarCraft vinyl or some of the thicker adhesive printable vinyl. So this is StarCraft matte adhesive printable vinyl. So it needs a thicker cutter cutting setting because it's really thick. If we were using Cricut printable vinyl, then you would just select the Cricut printable vinyl option in your cut settings. So here's our decal all cut. And as you can see, it's ready to just peel off and stick to our tumbler like I did here. You do not have to seal this vinyl. You can go straight from the sheet onto your tumbler and then epoxy right over that. No sealing needed. In fact, I would recommend not sealing. Obviously, if you guys wanted to fill up the sheet, you could do that, but remember that Cricut does restrict your print to cut area to about six and a half or six and three quarters to nine and three quarters for the cut size on your material. So just be aware of that. Um, but other than that, that's it for this video. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you need any additional help, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching my video and we'll see you again soon.
And a big thank you to all of our Flynn Sisters exclusive members. Thank you for your pledge. Your support means the world to our channel. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.